Look how creepy that is, man. I feel that it's kind of sad, though. It's sad. Yeah, we were listening to music and talking, playing chess and stuff, and I was making tea, and the loudest bang. Yeah, we heard a massive bang. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Welcome to St. James's Church. Dating back to the 13th century, St. James's has an extensive history and cultural significance. The church inspired the opening of Charles Dickens' novel Great Expectations, in which Dickens references an eerie set of child tombs placed outside of the church, which was directly inspired by the 13 infant tombs located outside of St. James's, which has now been aptly named Pip's Grave after the main character of the novel. The churchyard has an extensive reputation of being haunted, with several sightings of women in Victorian dresses singing and dancing. Other reports included humming, whispering, flying objects and banging sounds. So naturally, my friends Ahmed, Luca and I decided to spend the night there. I have never been remotely superstitious. I didn't believe in ghosts, crystals, star signs or anything beyond the material world. Mild spoiler for the video, but these views were completely changed by the end of this night. So I hope you all look forward to the craziest adventure we've ever been on and a terrifying evening, to say the least. Okay, so we have now arrived at the St. James's supposedly haunted church. Uh, Look at all these graves. Don't stand on these Yeah, do not. Your dead kids, where are they? <laughs> Ahmed. Okay, so around here, the, this is like a grave of how many dead kids? Um, this is, I mean, we'll count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 30, 14 dead Bro, babies. Who, who killed all these people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, guys, I'm really excited for our holiday. Yeah, yeah. Guys. All right, good week. Let's go inside here. All right, Wait, which, no, no, which entrance are we going to? It's oh. this one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there you go. Okay. Um, they said, please mind the steps. Okay, we have to look for where that is open. No, we need to get the key. Key? Yeah, it's somewhere here. What is that? Let's see. This well, is just charges careful by the Church Conservation Trust. That's people which do the, the thing to let us uh, sleep in it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's Shrek's toilet. Wait, what? It's the Shrek's outhouse. Wait, what is this thing up Um, So it's, yeah, so the code. This is our toilet as well. What? Yeah, this is our toilet. We're going to have to shit in there? Yep. <laughs> oh, great. There's, just, a, there's already a spider above your head. Wonderful. Who, what is that? Is that like a little gremlin? <laughs> <laughs> what oh. the f um, uh, actually, the toilet doesn't look that bad. And then, okay, so this code is... The toilet looks very modern. Wait, Wait we can't pee you standing up. What? <laughs> what? We can't pee standing up. Oh my god, look at this key. <laughs> it says... What? Oh my days! Oh, that's to the basement, let's bring it. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> what? <laughs> let's put this big ass Oh my in. goodness. Is it in? It's a bug in my fridge! <laughs> <laughs> Go! <laughs> yeah, can you do this? I can't do it. You're such a silly plunker. <laughs> <laughs> Once we've found the key to get in the church, we head inside and explore the place we will be staying for the rest of the night. Yo. Oh, okay. Oh, f***. <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> 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 we've got... Joe, Joe, this is epic. You take the camera, I'm gonna bring the stuff in. Alright, uh, yeah, you bring, you bring the stuff in. It is! It's actually, yeah, it is nice and cool in here. Bro, they've like kettles and stuff here. Um, it, this oh, is so This cool. is gonna be the scariest night of our life. <laughs> oh, they've got a first aid kit in they case I die. <laughs> they have a first aid kit in case I die. There's, there's got, there's a chest here that's locked. Yeah, there's probably a code for that in the garden. Oh, look at this, we can play chess. <laughs> How lovely, look, it's got a little 
pig seeds. Come on, it's better than being outside. Find out. There's a bunch of Bibles. I don't right. know. They can keep up the text. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? What did you do? <laughs> The ghost lit it. <laughs> oh yeah, this this is the Bible. Hey, get close that. Oh no, it's Book of Prayer. It's Book of Prayer. That's oh, not that's not the Bible. Okay, it's it's it. <laughs> Who wants to do the honor? Should I do the honor? I'll do it. <laughs> I don't want to look inside. What's what inside? The fuck? It's a wall. Oh oh my god, how scary! Should we break it? <laughs> wait, what is this for? Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my <laughs> god. What is oh? oh. oh. <laughs> what is that? Hello. <laughs> Ours was the market oh. <laughs> the river. Oh, it's the bloody. It's yeah. the <laughs> so was actually <laughs> some guy picked up. I don't think we're Oh, there's a key. Is there a code for this as well? Yeah, there's a code. Anyway, I think they. What code did they give me? Let's check. What? Oh. oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> Much of that plays at night yeah. by itself. Okay, let's try it. There's no other code. Let's try opening it again. Alright, we got. We just unlocked Wait, this remove, door. Remove, this, remove the painting or yeah, whatever this what, is. What is that painting? I have no clue. <laughs> oh, hell no, that's a dungeon, isn't no, it's, it? It's, it's the punishment room. Hell no. Wait, let me grab my flashlight. Hey, yo. Okay. <laughs> We That's should set up a camera here. <laughs> this is fucked up. There's nothing even in here. Oh, there's so many webs. <laughs> <laughs> My hand went straight through a web. <laughs> I thought there'd be stuff nearby. But I guess I was wrong. No, no, just it's the it's only food you stuff. bought. Wow. Okay. Yes, so we got we got spicy noodles, pot noodles. Uh, I don't know how we more noodles. So we put those inside of a cup. Uh, we got baked beans and some soup. Wow. That's it. We have more baked beans to Lord Cobham, who died in 1508. <laughs> <laughs> Once we finish exploring and settling in, I then begin to set up our night vision, EMF reader, and the rest of our gear to begin the ghost hunt. Yeah, Murph. Come on. You need to film. Turn off the light. It's going to mess with the EMF. Oh, that's that. Alright, so Bro, this. That just motion sent him. What? Go there, go there, go. Okay, go there. No, 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 go more. Hey, there. hey! We're doing the same thing as the light. Yeah. That, no, it has to be really what? close to it. Wait, really? Just go there more. Hey, relax. Yo, yeah, it's. It's doing some shit. You're under a light again though. Yeah, you are. Oh yeah, okay, so the lights must be doing something. Yeah. What do you mean? What a beep. We'll see, we'll see if it changes. Why is it? Is it not under... Get out of the cooler. It's going up. <laughs> no, it's going, it's gone. Wow. Oh, it's gone. That is weird. Wait. If there's a spirit here, can you make that device go to red? Say it again. If there's a spirit here, can you please make this device right here? Can you just please go near the device? Now the EMF reader was malfunctioning because we stood under a very powerful light, but a few hours later we decided to turn off all the lights and sit in the dark to see if we would hear anything out of the ordinary. What's my chair? I'm gonna set my phone to charge I think.
Do you not want to turn that light on? It's very dark. No, it's fine. Do you want to sit in the dark? Is that you? Someone get up here. Come on, let's go. Someone grab the camera. EF, EMF. Did you see it? After a very long while, we hear loads of objects being moved or dropped in the corner of the room. But that's not the scariest part. As I was editing this video, I noticed after a while a shadow moving across the room as the objects made loads of noise. So I ask you, was this the spirit of a Victorian or a child? Or was this just a hoax? You tell me. Yeah, Jesus. Flash of red. Oh my god. Oh no. wow. Oh lord. Now it's gone. Oh my god. Now it's back. Oh. There is nothing electric around them. That is crazy. That was it. What was it? What even was that? Let's see. Look, something fell. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna turn the lights on. It's terrifying here. Yeah. Wait, no, I had something fall. I'm joking. I had something fall. <laughs> I beg, we turn the lights yeah, on. Yeah, something was here. Did you close that? No. Uh, no, I know it was open to begin with. Yeah, at Is least you open something. Yep. How do you do night vision? Just tell me again. Night shot. Oh, God. That's not night vision, okay. Holy moly. Bro. What? Yeah, that's scary. I'm, I'm not joking around anymore, man. I'm not, I'm not being funny. Man. Oh my bro, look at that. that Holy shit. <laughs> that is not nice. I don't like it. I don't like that. Oh, Lord. Can I do some of the lights on? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Can I do some of the lights on? Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm actually fucking shut down with that. Alright, where's the lights? It's here. I feel like we should sleep with the lights on. Yeah, me too. I think we should. I don't think we should come. No. Whoa! What was that? Yo, nah. What was that? What was that? Oh, my God. Don't, 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 don't. What was that? As we were about to leave, there again, you can hear more objects moving about in the church. No, that, was, that was way too loud. <clears throat> okay, it's flashing about that. We should have just stayed in the pub. Yeah, we should have slept in the pub. Just turn the light on the no, night. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I said we leave. I said we just sleep with the lights on. Wait, kidding. Yeah. It is very pretty, to be honest. Oh my god, my hands are shaking a little bit four hours of being inside of that church, we already hear objects moving and even capture a shadow on camera. We decide to take a break because we were genuinely scared and go to the local pub. Okay, so it's now gotten extremely dark and we're gonna go ahead and explore the cemetery a bit. Yeah. So let's go exploring, guys. I almost just stood on a yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do, do that. that. <laughs> I almost stood on a baby. <laughs> I've definitely got night vision on. Look how creepy that is, man. I feel that it's kind of sad, though. It is sad. It is, yeah. Uh, can't even see much in the night vision. There we go, that's better. You have, to be, you have to be kind of close to things to pick up anything from the night. Very old thing. Okay. We haven't been down around here. Yeah, we haven't been around. Let's just do like a little circle. And be careful, do not step on the graves. Yeah, there's yeah, some stuff on here. 
Whoa, my, my god. <laughs> Wait, shine the light around, I can't see anything. <laughs> that was scary. That's been annoying me, man. Mabel. Wait, wait, let's see. China. Wife of Ashton Lever, born 29th of June 1968. Oh wait, oh 1868. Died on the 20th of August 1901. Wow. Rest in peace. 26. Uh. I'm getting bit. My mosquitoes. Yeah. Same. Oh shit. Una zanzara. If another bird does that thing. What if the birds are dead too? <laughs> <laughs> Brush those are ghost birds. It's yeah, it goes the birds. Wait, shine the light on there. Shine the light there just in case. Okay. Hey everyone. It's not that bad, is it? Honey, um, it actually doesn't seem that bad. Nah. It's fine, it's fine. We'll live. See you later, boys. I don't think anything's changed either. Yeah, it's all the same. You can't leave in your hair. That's what's strange. After exploring the graveyard, we went back inside after a few hours, and we hear another louder bang coming from the other side of the church. Unfortunately, we did not capture this on camera, but more events occur throughout the night. And it was kind of warming up a bit. We were listening to music and talking, playing chess and stuff. And I was making tea, and the loudest bang. Yeah, we heard a massive bang. Yet to check it out properly. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, Joe, did you want to see him? No. Fucking hell, bro. Turn the music back on. Let's get cozy again. Yeah, that was just that. Just. I feel like you should probably leave the camera somewhere. Yeah, it really changed the mood. It was so chill. It was. It's actually like it's a terrifying thing, but it's pretty cool. You have to say yeah. that. It's pretty, pretty cool experience. Just like that. <laughs> We're back to the scary times. Back to the scary times. Oh, Joe wanted it back, so I mean, he got his wish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. Wait, so I think we should check out that room. I can't lie. Why? Because I don't know, man. I have a bad feeling. About what? What if something is in there? Let me. Let me use my email. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Nothing is in here. It's nothing. This room is terrifying though. Like, look, look at the shells. I mean, just seriously, look at this. It's really? so this, creepy yeah. in here. Oh, it went up a bit. It has a weird, it's a humid smell, isn't it? Is it because of the shells? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look at this, Luca. Get, get a shot of these. Like, they're actual shells on the wall. Come around, come around. I could see. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that spider. What? Is it dead? Oh. oh. It smells like the sea in here. <laughs> Now, as we walk out of the room full of seashells, another disturbing event occurs. See for yourself. Oh, I just kind of wish I'd made the hot chocolate. <laughs> you know, guys, the candle blew out. Huh? huh? What? Candle blew out. The candle blew out. Uh, oh, shit. Uh. Kind of blew out. Uh, uh, did you get that on camera? No. That was lit. You should have blown out there. Yeah. No, I wasn't out there. You my Frida time? <laughs> Wait, yeah, I get the return on night vision. It's kind of hard to see. Now, let me clarify that there is no wind inside of the church since it is sealed shut. But do you think a spirit could have blown that candle out? Or was it just a small breeze? You decide. The candle blew out. It's here. It's on the side. It was so nice. I'm actually not that scared of this. Yeah. No, because I know that they're not, they're not human. So. They're religious ghosts. Yeah. Oh, another sign. Oh, it's something over there. One candle gone. 2019. Should I relight it? Yeah, fuck it. 
Wait, aren't we meant to turn them off anyway though? Not turn them off. I have no idea. Oh, oh, Actually, why do I need the kettle? I'm not sure you guys noticed, but a second candle has blown out, and we didn't even notice until later. Do I stop recording? Or do I just leave it somewhere? No. Both the candles are still lit. Yeah. Oh, that one's off. What? That one's off. What is happening? Oh, what the hell? If we leave that lit, we have the, the house. It's just naturally. Bro, are we. I was with you guys. Bro, that was literally just lit. <laughs> that was just oh, lit. That was just lit. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Did it not like the light? I don't know. Yeah, that's the only light they can control, right? Yeah. Holy Maybe shit. Maybe that's why the guide said don't light the candles. <laughs> Didn't he say? Up. I thought that was for fire though. I don't know why the can. I'm lighting this candle. I don't. I don't know why the ghost doesn't want me to do this lit, but I like it. There we go. Both of it. Okay. You hold the camera for a minute. Yeah, got it. I think it's time to start setting up. Yeah. Film really close up. Okay guys, so we are about to sleep now. Good night guys. Good night. <laughs> Luca, say that again. Good night. Wait, I'm going to be quiet. Luca. Good night. <laughs> Ahmed. Good night guys. I feel just on edge here. Like it's not that bad. It's uncomfortable but... Aren't you always on edge? Yeah, I'm always being edged. After I heard the strange sound of a chair moving or the building making sound, Luca woke up because he started to feel really sick with his stomach hurting and feeling as if he was going to throw up. Ten minutes after that, I started to get a big headache with my stomach hurting also. Ahmed only started feeling ill a little bit after. What confused me is how we all began to feel really sick at the same time. Was this the cause of a spirit being present? Or did we all ate something bad that day? You decide. As if things couldn't get any worse, uh, within a span of 10 minutes, everything was fine. Luca started saying that he was feeling sick. We had to obviously do that off camera, see if he was right. I think he's gone back to sleep. But in 10 minutes time, everything was fine. Joe and Luca both got sick. This guy's got a massive migraine. No, this, um, okay, so something really weird happened. I walked into the middle of the room and then I got a splitting headache right after that. What? No, is it still there? I don't just get headaches out of nowhere. Yeah, they normally like, they build, they build up. up. They oh, build no, up. Yeah, it's, no, it's still here. It it's hurts. very weird to get like a really painful one out of nowhere. It's, it starts out like a bit. It generally felt like someone like hit me in the head. Maybe someone did. Yeah, but everyone is wiped. But I just feel too on edge to sleep here. I'm going to try soon, but I think we're going to stay up a bit more. But nothing too interesting no, is going to happen. Um, I might actually try and get to sleep more. Maybe a good idea. Well, we can just like lie down and chat for a bit. And yeah. Later. But yeah, we're basically gonna stop recording unless anything yeah, super I'm, scary happens. I'm also, making, I'm also making Luca a hot water bottle because he's not feeling well. Yeah, this guy is not good. But yeah, good night, everyone. Uh, it's been a journey, but we'll see you all in the morning. That's if nothing super scary happens. Good night. Now for the rest of the night, unfortunately, we didn't record it because Luca seemed as if he was about to have a panic attack. Me and Ahmed could not sleep because we all felt incredibly sick and felt as if we were being watched, so we decided to film some b-roll footage outside leaving Luca to sleep. But when we went back in, Luca was in a petrified state explaining he heard someone bang on the window and claiming he saw a pale figure in the window. To this day, we are thinking what it was and if it was even real. 
But then, after some thinking, we decided to leave the church at 3 in the morning. We just felt too uncomfortable and disturbed to stay any longer. There you have it guys, we have officially left St. James's Church. The reason why we wanted to leave so bad is because this has probably been one of the most scariest experiences of my entire life. Now, sorry about the night vision, I have to keep it on because it's still pretty dark out. We left at a little after 3 a.m. Uh, the reason why is because um, uh, basically Luca and Ahmed, they've been getting very scared and so have I. We've been hearing stuff all night and we've been hearing, we heard a really loud bang and you, also if you saw the video, you heard me uh, wake up and get the camera out and I hear like a really loud scraping sound, I don't know what that was, but we've just been hearing stuff all night and I don't think we can handle it anymore. We're basically pussies. But yeah, this has been a really incredible experience though and I totally recommend it. You guys can, if you live in the UK, you can definitely book this for yourself if you want to do like some ghost hunting or whatever. But um, uh, that's all I have to say. God, I think I need to change your pants.